Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel again. You know, today you can see my settings change right now. So I'm doing some different type of video right now. I want to just have a conversation between me and you. So here we have a topic of a government trying to nationalize every big business, all the infrastructure, all the money, company, and everything. So today I decided to do a video about this topic because Julius Malema he he posted a video on Facebook talking about nationalizing all the mining businesses, power businesses, and other infrastructure businesses. So I thought it was actually a very, very terrible idea. I'm a big supporter of Julius Malema. I like most of his idea, but not every idea. Um, I found this very stupid for actually Julius Malema to even think about it uh, in terms of the economy. So I'm gonna give you the, the reason why I think personally this is a very terrible idea for actually any democratic nation and also any capitalist country. So here's the, the, uh, the reason number one. The first thing, once you nationalize a business, you know, you give to a government hands to control the business. So the first thing gonna come is corruption. The corruption gonna spike and also the money gonna start disappearing. So what's gonna happen, this business is gonna lack innovation because it's not actually competing to actually to gain profit and also give money to the shareholder. It's just actually a business which is actually funded by the taxpayers. And what's gonna happen is the government is gonna lose all this money which is currently coming from those businesses and that's why government is gonna have now to buy this money to fund these businesses. So the other point is, once we nationalize these businesses, you know, put in a government hands, and now the lack, of, the lack of innovation kicks in, and now we cannot make enough money, the corruption, the money is getting lost, what's gonna happen is they're gonna start lay off employees, they're gonna start lay off workers. So if you're in one of those business, you're probably gonna start losing job, because now this business can't afford to pay you. So we saw this example in so many countries where the country started, nationalizing business but what happened in the end was never a good result so what i think is if we want to actually be able to create equal wealth you know we're trying to make sure that poor people get more money the government should actually start investing in actually entrepreneur creating a program which actually help a startup if you have a small company there's a government program you can go to and actually get a help like a how to start get a loan or get investment something like that and then in that way we can actually build a new industry and create a new job without actually relying or fighting over old business you know 20 years 50 years from now mining business is not going to be existed i feel bad for africa because we have all these mining businesses, we have all these mining minerals in our land, but guess what? We are not actually using them right now when they still have a value. In 10 to 20 years from now, most of the material is not going to be having no more value, you know, because right now we can make a diamond in a lab. You know what I'm so guess what's going to happen in the future? Nobody will be buying those diamonds. So I feel like the long term solution right now is actually to focus on technology and a new industry, which is the future, and also government taking all that money and invest in a young entrepreneur and actually be able to create a better future for you and for me.